Hi friends, Knife Detector here, and I've been having this guy for about, oh, I think about three, four months in my toolbox, and I just haven't showed it to you. It's part of the Frost Wildlife series, and I just entered the search on eBay Scrimshaw Knife, and this thing popped up. I think I got this for like 12 bucks, which I think is a fantastic deal for a knife like this. Came with this really cool box straight out of the 1980s, amigos. Um, you know, I can't really use this box for much else because I think it's pretty specific to the knife, as you're going to see. But uh, check it out, okay? Look at that. Frost Cutlery Wildlife Series. And when I take a look at these things, I really like to examine everything in it. Like, for example, I see this little sticker over here, right? Let's pull that off. Let's see what it says. Look at that. $15. So somebody probably in the, I don't know, late 80s probably bought this thing for $15 or early 90s and then just kind of left it there. $15, amigos. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and just put that right back, right in there. Kind of like, so that somebody will get the idea that that's what was paid for at that time fifteen dollars for this knife what do you get for fifteen dollars well you get a nice frost knife uh probably made in pakistan we're gonna look at it and uh look at that pattern doesn't that pattern look familiar Boker makes a pattern of knife very similar to this and i think frost was probably uh getting their cue from them or vice versa uh, but it's a real nice pattern. I really like that that style of knife right there where it's got kind of like that uh, Copperhead type of Design where it kind of hides the tang so you don't get that stuck in your Pants or cut yourself with it when you reach in this also has a little hole in case you want to put something in there it Looks a little too thin for paracord, but but you can probably put a little leather uh, type of a string in there and tie a knot with it. Who knows? Do something with a little leather band there. And uh, let's take a good look at this thing. What do you say? It's a lockback, as you can see, but look at that scrimshaw. That, that is bone. That is bone. I believe that's bone. Yeah, I see like striations in there. What do you think? Uh, I think that's bone. And that's a cheetah. That is a nice looking cheetah. What do you think? Yeah, I like cats. And it, it always astounds me that a lot of knife collectors have cats for pets. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, nothing on the other side. And let's see. Let's open her up. Look at that blade, though, guys. It's a nice blade. It's pretty much a flat grind, nail neck. This is going under the name Bear Hunter. Solid snap open. Sole engine, stainless, so German steel. So it's not a boker, but it does use German steel, which is not bad at all. Um, this is a nice looking guy, knife, guys. I, I am pretty sure I did all right for 12 bucks. What do you think? And that little cheetah is running. I mean, uh, what more could you want in a knife? And I, I just think this is so nice. And what I might do later on is I might actually add one of those quick thumb studs on it and carry this in my pocket or in a sheath. Um, it's got some heft to it. This is about as long closed as a buck 112. Um, it's just a solid knife. Uh, look at how thick those brass liners are. That is where the weight on this thing is coming from. This thing really has a lot of brass in it. And it's developed a really nice patina. Uh, really like it. Again, lockback design. Yeah very nice i think i did pretty good with this guy for 12 bucks um and uh this is something that i do plan on using um real sweet very sharp right out of the box let's see how stiff this thing is Ooh, my friends that's about an eight Ugh, that is hard but yeah let's see the snap nice not bad you know as you can tell this really hasn't been used i mean this knife just has been sitting right here in this box since it was purchased, probably. Somebody probably just loved this so much. But guess what? It's time to put this bad boy to work. What do you say? So I'm gonna go ahead and start carrying this bad boy. Like I said, I might buy a thumb stud just to open it a little easier. Pocket carry this or sheath carry this. And I guess I gotta, by default, hold on to the box, right? See anything else in here? 
No. Oh, look. See, this looks like the sticker was here at one time. See? Okay, cool. <sighs> Smells like the 1980s, my friend. <laughs> Maybe early 90s. I don't know. But check it out. Tell me what you think, amigos. Tell me what you think. I think that's a pretty one. What do you say? Yeah. That's going in my pocket tomorrow. All right, friends, you have a wonderful weekend. Don't forget to keep your eyes open because these beauties are out there, guys. Put in a search on eBay. Use pocket knife, scrimshaw knife, brass bone knife, whatever you want to call it. See what comes out. Uh, ending soonest and see what pops up. You might get lucky, my friends. You might get lucky. And thank you to all my new subscribers. And please check out my playlist so you might find something you like. Take care, amigos. God bless you.